Battle Grotto. Now this one's got the more pain in the arse mechanic. Darkness. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here, stupid Stalfo. Alright, it really is the key. Unfortunately, compasses and the like do not work for one particular for all dungeons. Take that shy guy. Johnny and Aquams. And here's a compass for this dungeon. For the bottle grotto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the new feature. Shush. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Okay. Ah. Eat my blade. Small key. Wah, wah. Oh jeez. Okay. Yep, this is the one thing that I think most people didn't like about this particular Legend of Zelda game. Is that if you need something, you got to go and switch over in your inventory. Oh no, I gotta get the freaking feather. Oh, let's get the freaking feather. There we go. Yeah, the shy guy looking guys will mimic your every move. Which can get annoying. But they don't attack, so... Really, there's nothing to worry about for them. Most of the time, they're just hiding something. Skitty bastards. Keys and everything that was hidden will remain unhidden once you discover them. Yes. And let's take this thing. So many bottles. Oh, it's the shield. And boom! Ha! Ah. Alright. This is key. Oh, I think I remember this part. Yeah, at this point I'm pretty much playing by muscle memory. It's like, oh, it's this room. I remember what I have to do here. Well, besides avoid that thing. Push those two together to reveal those stairs. And not die on spikes. Let's get this. Because I just like going to dismount. Hup. Hup. Hey. Hup. Ha. Oh. Gotta light some torches. I think I remember what's through that door. It's gonna be another box. Usually it's a mini boss that's between it. Uh, now these mini bosses are actually freaking easy. They toss bombs, they run at you, they try to grapple you. But they fail. Generally. A lot. They're my favorite because they're so stupid. Alright, let's... Woo! Link. I come to town. I come to... Oh, Jesus! And... Uh, uh, hate those things. A segment of a stone slab. I don't really need it. No! I need, like, anti-gravity boots, though. Because those things will pull you in, suck you in, and kill you. Not necessarily in that order. Engineal. That's what they do. More rupees. More rupees than I possibly will ever need. Oh shoot. Whew. That was close. I really don't remember what to do. Yes! I found it! I found the power bracelet! At last I can pick up pots and stones! 
and this is actually what you're going to be using for a majority of your adventures from here on in. Hold down B, pull back, and let your fury release. Yeah, Smokey. I can open a locked door. And here's the great thing though, you can actually walk on these pegs. So you can completely and totally avoid having to, you know, go around a separate direction. Not that that's a bad thing necessarily, having to go in a certain direction, but still. Eat sword, bat! Okay, I realize that in Legend of Zelda they're actually called keys. But no. I'm not calling them keys. Because I'm just gonna mix them up. Oh, I gotta get five keys. And I'll... Ah, Paul's voice! What am I do? I can't kill him! Oh, that works too. All else fails, use a pulse voice. Or, use a Vaz. Yes. Vaz. Woo! No? Not heavy enough? Eh. No. Well, option B. Ah! ah. Behold the power of Vaz! The great and powerful Vaz. I went the wrong way. Okay, so we'll go back this other direction here. Wait until we get the nightmare key in order to go to the nightmare. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Congratulations, Blitz Slide. You're the first and only to have done that. Wait. Oh, that's right. This one has a certain pattern you have to do it in. Let's see. If I remember, it's going to be the pole's voice, the bat, then the skeleton? Or do I just got to kill them all in general? I think I just got to kill them all. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. No, no, I still gotta kill them all in Kill them all in a pattern, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use the Rock's Feather. Because I want that rupee. I want that bear. After this dungeon, I'll grab myself another Suda? Okay, so it's a pseudo shortcut. Oh, no, that's right. Cats to go up. <laughs> yeah, I bet freaking uh, Super Mario Brothers would be much easier. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's try this again. Pole's voice, bat, then skeleton. Again, I think that's the pattern. Whoa. Yes, it was. I am the master. I knew I had it right, I just... And now I'm not using the guide. Like I said, all muscle memory. And regular memory. Shut up. I'm gonna grab some cookies too. Okay, um, I gotta get some hearts. There we go. Fairy, that'll do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. 
All right, got the power bracelet. I got the nightmare key. I got my sword. I got my shield. I got my rocks feather. That's going to allow me to actually jump over this thing, so I can actually get to the. Got my rock feather. I will actually let me jump over this thing, so I can. Apparently, I cannot talk and walk at the same time. There we go. Now, this boss is a pain in the ass last I remember anyways because what you have to do is go in hit him a few times then you gotta grab his bottle grab him by the ball ho 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 I'm your bad guy this time ho 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 oh god he's a clown you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle You actually can't hurt him. So, what you gotta do is dodge his attacks until he goes back into his bottle. Yeah, yeah, can't hurt him as long as you have your bottle. Got it. Dodge his attacks. Which apparently I can't do. Well, kind of a good thing, I mean, now I can get this, which has more rupees. Alright, let's teleport. So what's that now? Twice? Twice I've died. Awesome. I could have done it if it weren't for the freaking gravity stuff. The gravity stuff. Actually, yeah, one guy. Hmm. Stupid block, brother. Right. Oh, keep on forgetting. See, this is the one thing that happens when you uh, die so many times. You end up just losing a lot of synergy and. Then you'll lose a little bit of a grip on your video gaming, and then you'll forget stuff, and then you gotta backtrack a little bit, then you gotta kill stuff you've killed before, and then go, ah, I've killed you before! Because you've killed it before, and all that fun stuff. Alright, come on. I've killed you before, I'll kill you again. Die, you stupid Stalfo. Stupid Paul's voice. I'm not sure a lot of people actually know this about Paul's voice, but what they were originally a yeah they were originally a monster in the first Legend of Zelda game, and what you had to do in order to kill them, what you had to do in order to kill them was to yell into the Famicom. That's the Nintendo ja Nintendo's uh, Japanese version, because it. The controller actually had a little mic. It was kind of cool. Alright. And that would kill the pole's voice. Let's try this shit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the bad guy. Just kill you! Alright. Gotta time this right. I'm, sure I'm actually having it pretty low so it doesn't pick up on both my mic and the recording device. Tosses seven, goes back to the bottle, pick up the bottle, hit the bottle. Pretty simple. It's the dodging part that's a pain in the arse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, I think you only had to do this three times. Yeah, I'm yeah, and you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eat it! Why? You, you broke my bottle, but you, uh, you make me hopping mad. 
Oh, then he does this weird phantasmy thingy where he floats around and all that, but yeah, you just gotta hit him. Hit him! Yes! Die, you dead clown! Uh, wait. Die, you dead clown. I think it is doing some frame skipping on the, on the Game Boy player here because there's actually supposed to be like a billion of them flying around, but whatever. I don't care, because I'm getting... The Conch Horn. Listen closely now. Gah! Gotta love this game. Prairie. 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 The prairie is waiting. 